five turn-based games in the ancient period to play in 2022. The ancient world is a ripe setting for turn-based games, offering a degree of complex strategy and illustrious history of the greatest military battles of all time, such as the Battle of Cannae to the Siege of Gorgova. In 2022, there is a general trend of RTS games returning to the limelight, such with new indie titles such as Ancient Aggressors Rome, CRPGs like Expeditions Rome, etc. In this video, I'm going to be showing you five turn-based games that you can go to Steam and buy and try out. It's really recommended that you do so right now. Expeditions Rome is one of those titles that is a special mention when it comes to combining CRPG and of course with your turn-based mechanics, etc. This was a title that impressed me because the start of the story immerses you into a journey for young Legatus and you're introduced into an era where Rome is fighting against Pontus, basically the last, I believe the last big Hellenistic power that there is before Rome can go and literally stomp on everybody. But you fight against the Mithardis of Pontus. The voice acting is decent, the music is very reminiscent of CRPG games, there's excellent level design, and every mission makes you feel that you have to progress, upgrade your characters, listen to good dialogue from NPCs. You basically make a reputation for yourself while embracing the political storm of the Roman Republic. Some minor quirks, of course, were the auto-resolve style of the battle system that they had introduced. And, you know, the combat turn-based system is quite good. It forces you to choose different mechanics each time. And the world itself is very vibrant and colorful. And we need way more games in the ancient world, in the Bronze Age world, you name it. You know, so Expeditions Rome gets a solid 9 out of 10 in my book. It's a well worth RPG, RTS game that you really need to check right now. Ancient Aggressors Rome. Now this is a game that you might have seen or you might not have seen at all. But it's a game that you really need to check it out now. It's a game that I have been meaning to literally play. But it's a 4x turn-based strategy game that instantly reminds me of games like Civilization and Rome Total War. Based on a similar scenario as most games set in the ancient world, you have the ability to make Rome the power once more in the Mediterranean. Or maybe choose Carthage and bring glory, once again, back to Balhamun. It's an instant mix of strategy, goodness and a gorgeous campaign map with tons of Steam Workshop mods to enliven your replayability. You have the ability to look at trade, war, diplomacy, make decisions, etc. Along with historical authenticity. There's around 20 factions and there's also emphasis on supplies and army systems so that really does play into your entire gameplay. Already this game looks fantastic, it's an underrated title that you need to play in the 4x genre right now. Old World is a unique game for me as it represents a civilization style game that can only be played in the ancient world and I like that aspect. No need of progression straight to the modern age. I'm not too sure about the differentiation between the eras of combining bronze and classical because you're essentially playing in the classical period but sometimes you might have a bronze age civilization then you have a classical age civilization and sometimes it gets a little confusing but that's it's a minor quirk but let's say okay for example you want to play Babylon you have it. you want to play ancient Egypt you have it you want to play Carthage you want to play uh, Rome and Carthage and whatnot you can do it it is a character driven story with a big emphasis on your family tree making decisions and events that influence what will go on with your family. Okay? Old world strength lies in its unique artwork. Immersiveness. Old world strength lies in its unique artwork. The old world old world strength lies in its unique artwork. Great soundtrack. Great gameplay. Lots of unique events. There's, there's, there is around 3,000 historical events. You know, there's, there's 3,000 historical events. You know, that's and, all, and they are unique. So you really have to check it out. Alright? And it also has a new DLC focusing on the Peloponnesian Wars and known as Heroes of the Aegean. So you really have to check out this game. Really underrated. Go ahead. Get it. It's a really fantastic game. And now we go to Imperium Greek Wars. Imperium Greek Wars is yet another underrated title. Made by an indie developer, Kube, it features a wide-spanning campaign map focusing on the Macedonian Wars, the Persian invasion of Greece, and it is an immersive campaign that is slow-paced, but it takes quite a while to get used to. Economic, political decisions all make a big play. The artwork is reminiscent of early 2000s RTS games. 
Slow paced tactical and plenty of unique artwork make this game stand out. The number of decisions you can make give you greater freedom. It is true to the world of the Greek Persian world of 530 BCE and it allows for some mythical question which is an amazing aspect that is very heavily underused in RTS titles. You after all have to conquer the world and bring it to your hero. It also has great cinematics and the Age of Alexander is a great DLC to fight and play your fantasies of conquering the mighty Persian Empire. There's a Troy DLC which is free and you can fight the Punic Wars as well. Thoroughly recommended here. This is also combined with Field of Glory's unique battle system which is decision based and thus while not giving you the complete freedom to simulate a battle such as Total War allows you, it makes you feel as if you're the commander sending your units to fight into battle and issuing orders which is something Total War doesn't quite often achieve in some way. Its campaign map is massive with a gigantic list of factions to choose from. The game does suffer. I believe from having a complex UI and I feel that sometimes it goes against its advantages. It does have a unique campaign map with gorgeous visuals. You can't simply have expand your borders because it's going to take time and effort. There's lots of mechanics, there's decadence that you also have to watch out for as well. But Field of Glory's Empire, it really has a great DLC set in the rise of the Persian Empire. And that's something I feel that RTS games haven't really covered. So you really need to go and check it out. But look, at the end of the day, these are five great titles that you need to go you need to go and play and just experience it. I kid you not, these are five excellent games. Expeditions Rome, Old World, Ancient Aggressors, Rome. You know, this great game that you're seeing here right now. And all I will say is these are games that are worth checking out. Go ahead, download, buy it. Give these developers the attention and love they need and leave a review on the Steam page. It really helps them. Let's get the field of RTS popular. Let's make it popular again. Let's make RTS a really great genre so that people can go and buy it. Don't forget to leave a like, share, comment and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Stay tuned for more content like this.